Hear ye, mankind, the voice of Satan. Hear ye the word of thy master of evil, and stand to the altar, receiving command. Appear, Belial Desaad. Belial Desaad, I call ye into the kingdom of hell. Belial of a prearranged plan. But with you, there's no question of demon or man. Through your entire life, you have served the dark coven. I thrust you in birth to a family well damned. You fumbled. You stumbled. Now list my command. The fate that awaits you is here in my hand. Appear, Paul Desard. Paul Desard, I call ye, enter the kingdom of hell. The kingdom for you, Paul, so much the same. You're born to this world of an evil name. To be born a Desard is to be born under a curse. You'll pay the price under Satan's purse. You like to say that being born a Desard is not of your choice. And true, this thought is shared by your sister Valerie. Be that as it may, you are a Desard, and I'll take you, hold you, and keep you that way. Valerie Desard! I call thee, Valerie, to the kingdom of hell, and to be chained to the ground upon which you fell, your mother of witchcraft, <laughs> your father of sin. You fought your temptations, but never could win. You desired to live. You needed to love. But the ground you were born on, you'll not rise above. Andre, Desard, I call ye Andre to the kingdom of hell. The causes by number we both know too well. Your deeds and your actions fill me with gloom. I once gave you power. I now steal your doom. You tried to reel that. Drink, and repeat after me. Miss no words, nor the meaning of words in their complete and absolute sense. Upon each segment of your initiation, drink of the glass slowly. Drink of it until it is completely expired. Yes, Lila. I hereby take initiation under guidance of Belial. I hereby take initiation under guidance of Belial. I will surrender myself for all time to come. I will surrender myself for all time to come. And abide by the rules as they are handed to me. And abide by the rules as they are handed to me. I will give myself in every obedience. I will give myself in every obedience. With all my known devotion. With all my known devotion. To the master of this coven and to my master's master. 
to the master of this coven and to my master's master. That master being Satan. That master being Satan. I claim hereby I am sound of mind. I claim hereby I am sound of mind. And choose my master freely. And choose my master freely. I give this day in every way. I give this day in every way. Myself in Satan's duty. Myself in Satan's duty. O oh, Satanus, I bring to you this girl with the humble hope that you will accept her quickly. Let thy power envelop her senses and let thy code be thrust upon her being for all the days she has upon earth. Satanus, Satanus, Sabuchon. Will it be long, Lila, before I'm accepted like the rest of you? If you are not accepted, you will still be in the Dessart home working, not here taking initiation. When I was in with Mr. Dessart, I couldn't get over the fact that he could sometimes spontaneously regain his strength. He'd regain it completely and get out of bed with no ill effects at all. Other times he'd seem hopelessly weakened, almost death's door. Old Andre is going steadily. It won't be long before he loses all the power of his black magic. And when that happens, the liar will be the undisputed master of the desired property. Well, even now, Andre's daughter is falling under Belial's spell. It is only a question of time before she accepts his calling and comes to the curving. <laughs> and then the desired power will be ours. The change will come when Valerie becomes one of us. Each night, she's been called to the altar. And each night, she grows weaker and weaker. Belial has told us that she will come within days now. Her brother Paul will be the one to follow. Did you know Mr. Desard has called for some doctors? I thought at first he wanted them at the house to give him some kind of treatment. But they're really coming for the protection of Valerie and Paul. <laughs> I know all about Dr. Campion and the woman psychiatrist he's bringing with him. They won't be the help Andre hopes them to be. Eric Campion has been in love with Valerie for years. He's coming, I'm sure, with the hope of getting her to marry him. <laughs> the good doctors Campion and Mallory are at this moment racked with the speculation of what they'll encounter upon arrival. I'm afraid they'll be in for some very unpleasant surprises. This is as far as I'm allowed to go, Mr. Campion. Come back here. Silly dog. Where could he be going? Let's get out of here. Charmaine! Oh, come on, Eric. He'll find us. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen, Eric. It looks like somebody started to make a statue and never finished it. The pentagram. 
The Devil's Seat in the center for the demon. I don't understand. What is it used for? Well, a pentagram is used by the black magician or the leader of a coven when he evokes a demon or when he calls upon his master, Satan. Now the seat or the devil's saddle is the place where the thing sits while it hears the petition. Well, what is the thing doing here like this in the 20th century? Well, the old gods never die, Kate. Neither does witchcraft. There are people in this town. You can bet your bottom dollar they're devil worshippers. And does not often find believers. But to have a belief is better than to have no belief at all. Belief is what keeps the older evil gods and devils alive. I'm Dr. Eric Campion. This is Dr. Kate Mallory. Henri Desard is expecting us. We've been expecting you. I am Belial Desard. Belial? What an odd name. Isn't that one of the names that... No need to hide the fact that you know. I am more than proud to bear one of the many names of Satan, my lord and master. There's a tree blocking the road about a mile back. Would you be good enough to have it removed so I can get my car out? It will be taken care of in the morning. My people are coming. Follow me. There's the road. So much dirt. What kind of people are you? Killing a helpless dog. I kill the beast with my sickle. No, I did. That's not you two. Something has been killing our sheep. We have little enough to exist upon without dogs running our stock to death. Charlemagne would never run sheep. Well, you know the animal. I raised him. Valerie Dessard gave him to me. I'll give you a guide to the Dessard home. Stokes. How do we know we're safe from one of your guides? Just tell us where it is and we'll find it by ourselves. It would not be safe for you to go without a guide. Only one of us could protect you from the wolf. Wolf? Why didn't you tell me what we're getting into? Nothing I could have said would have stopped you, Kate. You don't believe in werewolves. I should have known. Did old Henri send for an advocate? Does he need one, Belial? Well, this is a surprise, Eric. And how's the professor of parapsychology? Those people in Wittaburn killed Eric's dog. Vampires. Like a teenager scaring himself to death with horror movies. That will be all mine. Thank you. Oh, please don't get Eric started. Those people in Wittaburn were creepy enough without hearing about ghosts and vampires. What happened to you? What's wrong with your arm? Why? Is Dr. Mallory a veterinarian? It would be the perfect setup. I could turn into a werewolf and she could correct my deformity. Well, he's having another one of his nightmares. Val, you better see what it is this time. Take Dr. Mallory with you. Maybe she can give him something to quiet him down. Why did you want to talk to me alone? Eric, did my father really send for you or was it Val? I know you'd do anything for her in spite of the way she walked down on you. You know, I always thought you had something to do with her breaking our engagement. No, I didn't, Eric. Not in the way you think. It was a family matter that involved all of us. The letter was from your father. You still in love with her? I'll always love her. Well, I'm glad you came, Eric. Paul, well, what actually did happen? Well, we... We were out hunting a wolf. 
I was up ahead of the rest on a trail when suddenly it stepped right out in front of me. I uh, couldn't move. All I could do was stand there and look at it, waiting for it to do whatever it was going to do. All I could think of was now I was going to die, that I was looking at death. The eyes were like gazing into a bottomless pit. They held me spellbound. I uh, don't know what happened next, but I was on the ground and the wolf standing over me. And I swear it knew me. Then, slowly, deliberately, it took hold of my arm. I felt no pain, only an awareness of what was happening. I could feel the fangs slide into the flesh, the blood flow, and the bone crack. Paul, can you fully bend your arm? Or is it permanently damaged? Well, I imagine a series of operations would correct it. Why don't you have the operation? Eric, I couldn't go through with it. Who shot the wolf? Bell did. But it got away. The next morning, a man was found in a village, brutally mangled. Oh, Paul. As we came up the path just now in the woods, we came upon the strewn contents of a woman's suitcase. There were definite evidences of a struggle. There may even have been blood on the ground, but it was very dark and we couldn't stay to investigate. I do think you should call the authorities. It's a small village, Eric. No one's been reported missing. <coughs> Was killable? Yes. Seems funny to hear you talk like that. I'm older and wiser now. What's happened, Valerie? When I left three years ago, this was a happy place. Now, Whittaburn is like the gateway to hell with all the people worshipping the devil. I don't know, Eric. I just don't know. 
This is the 20th century. I feel as though I've stepped into the dark ages. You all gone mad. That was uncalled for, Eric. It was in very bad taste. Well, what is in good taste, Valerie? If I play it for humor, I poke and pry until I find out the truth. No, Eric. I thought it was a weapon. Why should you? Why would I threaten you? I don't know, Eric. I don't know what I thought. Don't you see this whole business of the wolf has us all so worn out we don't know what we're saying or doing? You never used to be afraid, Val. What's changed you? And why did the people of Winterburn kill Charlemagne? I intend to find out. 